Dumbo 2 New York Adventure Chapter 2 The Circus Performance Disaster As the sun was shining over the circus, it was time for the performance. Spectators were arriving. The handlers were bringing all the animals to the performance. Dumbo, Penny, Dunk, Godfrey, Claw, Lolly were getting ready. This time I'm going to be on top of the pyramid, Claw stated. No, I'm going to be, Lolly replied. Enough, you two, Mother Bear snapped. You two gotta work together as brother and sister, Mother Bear replied. Yes, Mother Claw and Lolly replied. You all better not get in my way of my performance, Penny stated. Dumbo started to worry. He was wondering where was Timothy the Mouse was. He knows he can't do his performance without him. Don't worry honey I'm sure your friend Timothy will show up, Mother Elephant replied. Suddenly Timothy finally showed up. Dumbo smiled. Sorry I'm late Dumbo pal, Timothy replied. Dumbo held Timothy up and placed him on top his head. All right everyone it's time for the performance the ringmaster announced. Dumbo, Penny, Godfrey, Dunt, Claude, Lolly, Timothy were excited. The show was about to start. The audience were all settled in. The ringmaster was arriving. And the clowns were getting ready to perform. One of the clowns was taking a drink out of a small container. Hey, put that away, there are children here. The ringmaster muddled. The clown quickly puts the container back into his jacket. The handlers brought in all the animals. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the show the ringmaster announced. The audience cheered in excitement. First witness the tiger jumping through the ring of fire. The clown set up a ring and lit it up. A huge ring of fire formed around it. The tiger stood tall and majestic and prepared to jump through it. Then the tiger charged towards the ring and jumped right through the flaming ring without a scratch. The crowd cheered in amazement. Wow, that was so amazing, Timothy replied. Dumbo flapped his ears in amazement. Oh, please, I can do that with my eyes closed, Penny replied. How did he just do that, Dunk replied in shock. That's something I'm going to do one day, when I'm older, Godfrey replied. And now witnesses the majestic flying elephant, Dumbo the ringmaster announced. Dumbo were on Timothy announced. Dumbo flapped his ears and prepares to take off. The crowd started to shout Dumbo name in excitement. Dumbo then took off and started to fly around. Dumbo started to do barrel rolls and upside down. The crowd roared in amazement. The animals looked on in amazement. Wow, Dumbo is truly amazing, Dunt replied. He may be bashful, but has got talent, Godfrey replied. Not his not that good, Penny replied, annoyed. Now witnesses the beautiful dancing ostrich, the ringmaster announced. All right, let me show you all what a real performance is all about, Penny announced proudly. Penny started to dancing majestically. 
she started to do a bail. The crowd started to cheer in cuteness. Now witnesses the strong hippo balancing act, the ringmaster announced. All righty, here I go, Godfrey stated. Godfrey started stack a bunch blocks on top his back. Eventually the blocks reached to the top of the ceiling. The crowd were in shock. Godfrey, you need help, honey, Mother Hippo stated. No, Mother, I'm fine, Godfrey replied, struggling. Now witnesses the vibrant zebra jumping over the fences, the ringmaster announced. Yay, he I go, Dunt shouted in excitement. Dunt started to run and started to jump over the fences. The crowd clapped in amazement. And finally the big one. The bear pyramid the ringmaster announced. The bears started to stand on top of each other to form a pyramid shape. All was missing were two bears. Claude Lolly come on you two our last mother bear instructed. I'll beat you there Claude replied. Not if I beat you first Lolly replied. They started to climb the bears to the top. Hey I want to be on top of the pyramid Lolly replied. No I'm going to be on top Claude replied. No me Lolly shouted. No me Claude shouted. They shoved each other. Hey cut it out wow wow wow. One of the bears started to lose his balance. Suddenly all the bears collapsed to the ground. The ringmaster looked on in shock. What the the ringmaster shouted. The crowd were in shock. Claude landed on top of Godfrey back. Godfrey suddenly jumped in shock. Oh no 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 Godfrey shouted. The blocks completely collapsed. No 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 oh my gosh the ringmaster yelled. The blocks landed everywhere landing on Penny, crushing her. One landed in front of Dunt, causing her to trip. She heard right into a clown who was carrying a bunch of pies. Dunt knocked over the clown cause of the pies to fly everywhere. Everyone stay calm. The ringmaster shouted before he was hit in the face with a pie. The crowd was hit with the pies. When suddenly Dumbo was hit a pie in the air. Dumbo eyes was now covered in cream. And he couldn't see where he was going. Oh no Dumbo open your eyes Timothy yelled in fear. Dumbo was suddenly heading to a tower of paint cans. Timothy tried to clean Dumbo's eyes, but it was too late. Dumbo flew into the cans, causing the cans to fall over. The ringmaster wipes the cream off his face. Then his turned into shock and horror. The paint cans crashed into the ground, causing the explosion of paint to splatter everywhere all over the animals, all over the clowns, all over the crowd and all over the ringmaster. After the all the chaos was over, the entire circus was completely covered in colored paint. The crowd were booing. Dumbo, Penny, Godfrey, Dunt, Claude, Lolly, Timothy were completely covered in paint. Well, that was a show all right, Timothy stated. When suddenly the ringmaster walked up. He was covered in paint and cream. Looking very angry and irate. 
Dumbo Penny got free dance. Claude Lolly Timothy looked down in shame.